Asthma is a long-term disease of the lungs which affects the way we breathe. First, let's understand the normal breathing process. Breathing starts with an intake of air from the nose and the mouth into the windpipe called trachea. The windpipe splits into two breathing tubes, the bronchi. The bronchi continues to divide into smaller and smaller tubes called bronchioles which takes air down into each lung. At the end of the bronchioles are the air sacs called alveoli. The exchanges of gases take place at the alveoli. The inhaled oxygen is transferred from the air sacs into the blood and carbon dioxide, the waste product from the blood, gets into the air sacs and gets exhaled through the breathing tubes. In a normal airway, the air flows in and out very freely. In asthma, the airways get swollen and become extremely sensitive or overreactive. As a result, the muscles surrounding the airways tighten, narrowing the airways and reducing the amount of air that flows into the lungs. There is also a build-up of a slippery secretion called phlegm. This accumulation of the phlegm further narrows the airways, making it difficult for the air to flow freely from and into the lungs. These result in difficulty in breathing, a feeling of tightness around the chest, whistling sounds during breathing called wheezing, and coughing, which might worsen at night or early in the morning, affecting sleep. During an asthma attack, the airways become extremely narrow, which makes you feel breathless even while walking and talking. Your lips or fingernails may look blue, and using a rescue inhaler does not give you relief. These are signs that your body is not getting enough oxygen. Emergency treatment can help open the airways and restore oxygen levels.